there folks, thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This is Cooking with Sasha China and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to do wild boar burgers and zebra kebabs. That's right guys, zebra as in what you find running around in the Masamara or the Savannah or somewhere like that. Yeah, so um, from my meat packet again that I got exotic time. So, wild boar burgers and zebra kebabs. Okay, so what I've got on the chopping board today, I've got some bird's eye chili flakes there and a bit of heat. I've got some garlic salt, some pepper, and also I've got some just plain breadcrumbs as well, just to help bind it together. Um, also what I'm going to do, I have, I have actually cheated and I haven't made this from scratch. I'm going to use my uh, fig and uh, can you see that fig and date chutney that I think will go nice with it. It's also got balsamic in as well. I think that'll go really well with the uh, wild boar as well. I put them, but I'm going to put it in a pot to take with me for lunch because it's my turn to cook for the cooking club. That myself and Anna Banana Manang is it. All right, let's get cooking. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put them into two separate bowls. This is the zebra and this is the wild boar. Now, first off, obviously I've never cooked with zebra before. The texture is super, super soft. It's kind of weird, really. Whereas the wild boar, I expected it to be like that. Either way, anyway, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pretty much cook them or season them exactly the same. I'm gonna put some black pepper in there. Black pepper in there. I'm just going to do it so it's nice and simple. Like I said, I've never cooked with uh, zebra meat before. So it's going to be kind of interesting, I think. And I know I love a bit of black pepper. I just love that kick, that spiciness. Um, I'm going to put a touch of some Himalayan pink salt in there as well. Just a few rocks in there just to get a bit going. That didn't happen. Right, now time for the garlic salt as well. Love a bit of flavor. Now usually I'll put in a bit of fennel as well in this, but this time around I've actually run out. Heaps of garlic, it's gonna taste lovely jubbly. Now just a sprinkling of the bird's eye chili flakes, just to add a bit of kick, not too much. And now the time for the breadcrumbs. Again, as you guys probably know, I don't really weigh, I don't measure. I just throw it all in, see what it looks like, and just go from there, really. So what I'm gonna do with the wild boar, I'm actually gonna put a bit of the chutney, chutney straight in there, just to help it along its way. I might even put in a bit in the zebra, really. So I'm putting in a little bit there. I'm gonna put a teensy wincy in the zebra, just to help it along. Right, so now it's the time of the mixing. Have I got another glove? No. Right, okay, so I have a glove here. Okay, we can put it on the right hand. And now what you're gonna wanna do is just, that's not me farting, it's the floor, you guys know that already. I'm gonna just slowly, so I'm gonna do the zebra first. Just mix all those dry ingredients together, like that. Make sure you get all the seasonings mixed into the inside of the mince as well. Get it nicely. See now it's um things. The smell, it's not too bad. It's not offensive. It's just weird. Never mind. So we're gonna get that into a nice mixture. I think I'm going to add a bit more red crumbs for that because these are going to be made into like little uh, falafel balls if you will. But I've got some pita bread that I'm going to put them in and then obviously when I'm at work I'm going to have to get some a bag of salad from Waitrose or somewhere. Um, make those into that so that looks good. Right so now that looks good, nicely mixed up together. We're gonna get rid of this glove. Put this to one side. Now, since I don't have another glove, 
I'm actually going to use a plastic bag. <laughs> so now's the time for the wild ball. Just gonna mix that up nicely. Get all the bits on the inside covered as well. So nearly done. Get it all mixed up. Obviously you don't want to be too hard on it because then it's going to be super tense. Well this is hard with a bag, I tell you. You could do it with your bare hands, you know, because sometimes that's like the love of cooking. Actually get in there and feed it, but uh, just to make the video a bit quicker, instead of keep pausing it and playing it and pausing it and playing it. Alrighty, so now that that's done, we are now going to make them into the wild ball into burger patties and the zebra into little balls. Okay, so I'm um, sorry to record myself as I was making these. It just made things go so much quicker. So I've done about four big patties of the wild boar and a small one, just as a little tester. And the zebra balls, they're kind of misshapen, but hey, it's okay. So obviously, um, I'm going to serve the um, burgers with some buns and the kebabs with some pita breads. Now also, what I've, uh, why did I go over there? I don't know why I did it. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is just fry off the burgers for you guys. So we'll have a look at how we do those. Okay, so we've got the frying pan going. We're gonna do the burgers first. Just gonna place those in like that. Fry them off nice and gently, just give them a bit of room each. And we'll just do the small one in the middle. Obviously the small one's gonna cook a lot faster than the others, but hopefully get a nice bit of color on there. So I've got some nice color on them. I'm literally just going to put the lid on just to cook the insides now. Okay, so they're doing pretty nicely. Frying away. Nice. Okay, so the burgers are done now. They are a little bit cooked. Or dark, should I say. But I'd rather them be cooked than not cooked. If you get my meaning. So, we're just gonna put them onto a plate with a paper towel to drain off all the fat. They look really burnt there, <laughs> but they're not. They're okay, they're okay. Anna, they'll be okay. Right, so I'm gonna wash my pan up and then now and then it'll be time for the meatballs, as you can see. Okay, pan washed up. The meatballs are now in there frying away. Okay, so the zebra balls are actually cooking down nicely. I did add a bit of water in there as well, just to try and um, uh, get the residue off the bottom of the pan. I'm now just gonna add in some fresh herbs, some chopped curly parsley, just to add a bit of zhuzhness to it. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean this. <laughs> Well, I can't edit that bit out. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, <laughs> put the thing in there. Okay, so these balls are looking yummy. Smells really good as well, actually. I mean, you know, I can't describe the smell. It's, it's nice. Sorry, I'm gonna let those cook down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put some water in again, deglaze the pan and just let it simmer a little bit more. Alrighty guys, and we are finished. So just wanna show you guys properly. So um oh, that's my charging cable in there. So they look a little bit burnt, but 
my thinking is, you know, it's all right. As long as they taste good, that'd be the main thing. Um, so yeah, so thanks for clicking onto my video today, guys. Sorry, haven't really been fully active in this one. Never mind, I'm going to pop them into the containers for lunch. So this was my video on... God, this, this is not working. Let me just stop this for a minute. There we go, that's better. So this was my video today. This was Cooking with Sasha China, and today I did wild boar beef, bur wild boar burgers, and zebra balls. So I'm gonna serve these as burgers and these as kebabs. Alrighty guys, thanks for clicking on my video today. Please feel free to leave comments and etc. down below. See you guys in my next one. I'm sorry this video wasn't great, but all the others are better this one. I'm just a bit tired. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Bye.